there are five devastating mistakes mm. that brands are making when they're trying to expand to Amazon. I'm talking about a brand who is established off of Amazon. They have an e-commerce presence and they try to expand to Amazon or maybe you're just launching on Amazon and this is your first time launching on Amazon. The reason that I'm talking about these five devastating mistakes is because if you make any of these mistakes, your brand is destined to fail or lose a lot of money trying to succeed on Amazon. Now, I'm going to cover everything in detail. I'm trying to give you as much information as possible so you can overcome those mistakes and not make the same thing. My name is Mina Elias, aka The Egyptian Prescription. If you don't know me, welcome to the channel. I've been selling on Amazon since 2018. I have a supplement brand. I've invested in other brands and now I have an advertising agency. We have about 140 clients, 75 employees. We manage around $350 million in revenue every single year. So I've seen a lot. I've tested a lot of things. I understand how things work. A lot of brands come to me and they say, our brand is killing it off of Amazon. We really want to expand to Amazon. All of our competitors are there. How can I do it the right way? And there's a lot of nuances. So the five deadly mistakes are number one, the honeymoon phase. Most people don't understand what the honeymoon phase is. Now, the honeymoon phase is basically the first 30 to 45 days. No one really knows, right? Because it's an Amazon internal thing. But it's the first 30 to 45 days on Amazon where Amazon is learning about your product and they don't know if it's a good product or a bad product. Now, since they don't know if it's a good product or a bad product, they'll give you an unfair advantage when you're launching. Maybe you have 30 reviews or 20 reviews. They'll show you up on the top of page one for very, very, very highly searched keywords. Now, all of your competitors will have 10,000, 5,000 reviews and you'll be like, how on earth is my product, or you can even see this with some newly launched competitors, how is their product up there and they just launched? That's because Amazon's trying to learn. If I take this product and I put it up there amongst the winners right now, will it survive? And then it just keeps dropping it, dropping it, dropping it until it's like, okay, I understand where this product belongs, let's put it there. To take advantage of the honeymoon phase and to really get the Amazon algorithm going, if you sell a lot of units in the honeymoon phase, and so in the first 30, 45 days, does not matter what your conversion rate is, does not matter what your return on ad spend is. Obviously, the higher the better, right? But it's not. Besides that, right? What you want to do is get so much sales velocity, so much unit velocity, so that Amazon starts seeing that you are a product worthy of being high up there. So if they place you high on the top of page one and you continue to get a lot of sales, and obviously you can do this by spending a lot of money on ads or driving traffic from your email list or running some ads, driving them to Amazon. If you can do that, Amazon's like, this is a good product. We want to keep it up at the top. And when I've launched products and we've gotten like 100 units a day in sales after like 14 days, it's maintained. And then when we've launched and we've gone 10, 15, 20, and we try to slowly build up, it was a painful, painful, painful growth. So it's a lot easier to go to 100 units a day, even if it's not profitable, and then become more profitable by getting more organic ranking, getting free traffic, getting more reviews, improving your conversion, all that stuff, than it is to climb up that mountain. So that is the first mistake, not understanding the honeymoon phase. You have to be prepared. You have to have your best foot forward when you launch on Amazon. Now, the second deadly mistake is not running ads when you launch on Amazon or thinking that you can put up your listing and say, okay, cool. You know, we're off of Amazon. We're doing 10 million in sales. We're going to put our listing up on Amazon. Some sales are going to come in. That's not how it works. Number one, you're ruining your honeymoon phase because you know that the honeymoon phase is very sensitive, 30 to 45 days. After that, Amazon knows where you belong. Number two, you're not going to get traction without ad spend, without driving traffic to your listing. So make sure you turn on ads right off the bat. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you want to get some reviews your conversion rate. I do understand that. But if you don't run ads, no one will find you. No one will convert. You won't even know what your conversion rate is. So, you know, the, the first and most important thing is to bring people to your listing and then obviously at the same time, try and work on your reviews. The third deadly mistake is they try to bring their entire catalog onto Amazon. Here's the problem. When you launch on Amazon, Amazon allows you a thousand units of inventory. Now, once you send that thousand units, you can't send anything more until you start selling through that thousand units. So then, you know, you have to send a little bit more, a little bit more as they give you more and more room as you sell through, you keep replenishing. Next thing you know that you have 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 units of storage there. But when you're launching, you don't have that. So trying to put all of your catalog on Amazon is a very bad idea. I recommend just one. And the reason is, again, you have that honeymoon phase and you want to take full advantage. If you have $10,000 in marketing spend, that's $10,000 being spent on one product. But if you try and get three on there, that's you know 3,333 for each product. It's just not enough. You want to give the maximum amount of traction 
to your product in the first 30 to 45 days, sell the most number of units. Because as a result, what's going to happen is Amazon is going to improve your rank organically. You're going to start showing up high on the searches organically, which does not cost you any money. So maybe you're spending $1,000 a day generating you know, $1,500 in sales, but now the organic rank comes up. Now you're spending that same thousand, but you're getting more people coming to the listing organically. And now you're making $3,000 a day. And now you're profitable. That's why you really want to take advantage of the honeymoon phase. And that's why you don't want to launch your full catalog. Just take your best seller, launch it, put everything you have in that one, learn from your mistakes, and then move on to the next one and so on. Number four, not getting reviews. Here's the truth. On Amazon, people care about reviews. Reviews are very, very, very important. If you don't get them, no one's going to convert on your listing. Go open up your Amazon shopper account, right? Where you buy your stuff for your house. Look at all of the stuff that you've bought. Show me something that did not have reviews. They all have at least thousand plus reviews. Why would someone buy your product when they can buy a competitor who has a lot more reviews? Now, even if they are looking for your brand on Amazon, there are competitors under you that are targeting your brand and they're going to be like, yeah, you know, I like this product, but you know, this one's a competitor, a close competitor. I like their ad, but you know, these ones are cheaper, better, more reviews, et cetera, et cetera, more social proof. You might end up losing the sale. You want to have a lot of good reviews. There's no clear way to get reviews without breaking Amazon's terms of service. The only thing you can do is just ask people for a review and that's it. You can't ask them for a good review. You can't do anything like that. Terms of service say that you, the only thing you can do is just request a review. There's the request review button. There's apps out there like Ecom Engine and Sellerize where you can automate the request review button, you know, on your orders, as well as you can probably have like a QR code that allows you to opt in for something. And then all you have to do is just ask for a review. You can't ask for anything like a good review, can't incentivize a good review. With that being said, there's a lot of people that do break Amazon's terms of service and they incentivize to get reviews. I do that too. So, you know, that's, that's the game. Get reviews however way you get them. When I started MMA Nutrition, I literally went to every single person that I've ever worked out with in every single MMA gym and every single lifting gym, texted all of my friends, all of my exes, and I asked them to buy a product on Amazon and leave me a review and I was going to Venmo them the money. That's what I did. You know, I had to hustle to make the brand work. Just because you're a bigger, more established brand does not exempt you from the way that Amazon works. So number five of the deadly mistakes that you can make when expanding to Amazon is not optimizing your listing for the Amazon shopper. Now, optimizing a listing, word that loves to be thrown around, right? Everyone likes to say optimize your listing. What does that mean? We want to focus on a few things that will make the Amazon shopper want to convert on our product. The way that people shop on Amazon is this. They type in a keyword, which shows what problem they have and the solution they're trying to get for that problem, right? So if I type in squeegee for a shower, but the problem is I want to squeegee my shower and I need to buy a squeegee. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to look at the squeegees in the search. What communicates to me which squeegee I should look into is the main image, the price and the reviews, those three. Now, the other thing is having the prime badge or being, you know, fulfilled by Amazon. If I'm going to buy a squeegee and it's going to arrive in five days, good luck. I'm not buying it. I want something tomorrow. All of your competitors have FBA. Their squeegee is going to come tomorrow. So I'm going to buy that one. Make sure you're FBA. Make sure you have the prime badge. Then from there, main image the people looking for squeegee what are they looking for well you know they're looking for something that maybe is easy to hang that's sleek that has a good design also wipes the glass very clean right there's some rubber ones that don't do such a good job so what you want is to communicate that in the main image no matter how you do it you want to try the main image to pop and be different than the other main images you want your price to be somewhere competitive and you want you know reviews that are going to help you get more people. Now that they're in your listing, the rest of the listing, what you need to focus on is mainly besides having, you know, good SEO optimized title and bullet points, your images and your A plus content, that's what's going to sell your listing, especially your images. So when I go into your listing, if I can't read anything on your listing, except just scroll through your images, I should be sold by just those images. So I'm going to click on the listing. I'm going to scroll and I'm looking for why I shouldn't buy this. So I'm like, does this squeegee really like remove the, all of the droplets from the glass? I start scrolling. There's no mention of that. I, I, I'm not confident. I go to another one. I start looking at the images, removes all the droplets from the glass, very good traction, very slick design, lightweight. Da -da -da. I'm like, wow, again, this is not the best copywriting. I'm just giving you an idea of I'm going through the images and I know this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is this is, it's just communicating to me in the images. And then in the A plus content, it's selling me even more on the product, just visually. And then by optimizing that listing and by being able to be sold through the images, 
the Amazon shopper will make a decision and they'll, you know, hopefully purchase your product. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, the five mistakes of expanding to Amazon, please like this video, subscribe for more good content like that. Peace out.